Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. It's been a while since we've been out in the shop. I have made a couple of small updates, bigger workbench. I've upgraded my workbench, I've added some tools. It's now more of a woodworking shop than working on bicycles. You might be wondering why in the world would I want to do that? Hold on, I'll show you. That's a blank for a guitar body. I recently got more into doing uh, kit guitars. I actually got a deal with Guitar Kit World to do one of their kits. Unfortunately, it's gonna be like six months before I can get it. I'm really excited about that kit because it is a Gretsch hollow body style guitar. And I'm freaking out about that one. Also, I have another kit coming on Monday from Fretwire. Uh, this is just basically that blank body set up to where I can cut it however I want, make whatever guitar I want. I think I want to try to build guitars and actually sell them. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if I'll be any good at it. But I do know like, I build a freaking deck. How hard can a guitar be? <laughs> so on today's episode of, are we hiking or are we doing shit with guitars? <laughs> I picked up this. This is just a cheap Chinese, I believe it's Chinese, I'm not even sure. Uh, Cozart says it's custom handmade. Lap steel guitar. I already did all this. It didn't have any markers on the fretboard. And if you look, can you even see that? Look right there. That's a pencil. That is a shop pencil. <laughs> so today's goal is to make a bridge or a nut, sorry, make a nut for this guitar and get it playable. And then I'm gonna use this as a template because I wanna try to make a lap still on my own. So what am I gonna to use to, uh, to, to make a nut? I don't know. I got this. This is probably, I don't even know if this will be any good. I have seen some lap steels that have like a metal bar for, uh, for a nut. I don't know if this will work. I'm gonna try it. This is, I think, aluminum. Yeah, angled aluminum. See, so it's got that 90 in it, and it should be just the perfect size. It might be a little high. I might have to shave it down a tiny bit, and then I'm gonna have to file it really good so it doesn't just cut the strings in half. All right, let's get started. Let's see what happens. You never know. I think it's gonna turn out cool. I hope it does. <laughs> Fredboard, I guess? I don't know what you would call it because it's on a lap steel. You don't touch it. Uh, and I've got a piece of plywood here. I'm basically just going to trace out uh, a template to where when I'm ready to build, I don't have to take this off again. Just set it on like that and draw it out. It worked out too because I didn't have any carpenter's pencils, but there was one on the guitar. So I could just use it instead. <laughs> I've got the new nut on. I like it. I'm not crazy about it. I think it's way too high. So I can do a couple of things. I can sand it down, make it a little shorter, which I mean, I don't think it matters on a lap still because I mean, you're, you can fit your fingers underneath the, the strings anyway because you play with a slide, but I don't know, I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm gonna try and file it down, get the uh, strings on it, and just see how it looks and plays. If I don't like how the aluminum nut is gonna look, I might, I've got some like scrap pieces of wood around here, like this. I might try and make something and stain it and make something that looks pretty good, but that might be a different episode. Uh, okay, I'm gonna file the nut down and see how it goes. All right, 
right, so I was able to do this. I actually kind of like it. It's, uh, it's different. I took some 1500 grit sandpaper, some wet dry paper, and I was able to almost polish this to like, you can actually see a reflection right there. It's got almost like a mirror-like finish on it. Uh, still not sure about the height, but I think it's going to be okay. So next thing to do would be string it up, make sure the nut that I made is deep enough to where the strings don't just pop right out, and then take it into the studio and try it out. I really want to make one of these. Later. And here it is. This is the finished product. Still just a cheap Chinese Cozart, custom handmade apparently. Um, but it doesn't sound terrible. I mean, I've got it in open G, or actually open C right now. So it's definitely got a hum. I think it's got a good sound. I do want to try and make some of these. If you're interested, if you want one, let me know. I'll make one for you. I do have a Gretsch Filtertron pickup that I want to put in one and some ideas of how I want to go. So, I am not a lap steel guitar player, but I was able to come up with this one little tune in like 15 minutes. Bear with me. It's awkward. say if you have an opportunity to get one of these I paid 40 bucks for this I had to make the nut for it obviously but if you have an opportunity to pick up one of these they're so cheap and they're so much fun to play like I just been sitting down here messing around for 15 20 minutes something like that and I was able to come up with that neat little thing just then get one of these find one they're cheap they're fun they're just like I don't know it's just something that's good to like give yourself a challenge to learn how to play something new anybody can play guitar well, not anybody Almost any. Some people. So, move on. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're interested in one of these, let me know. I will be making them very soon. The Buzzard Roost Special. Still need a name for them. But if you're interested, let me know. And I will... We can, we can you know, figure something out. I'll, I'll make you one of these. I guess I need to try to make one first. Before... I really, you know... Commit to it. I'm doing that song again. It's so much fun. It's so short, but it's so much fun. <laughs>